so chemical properties so that's all about uh, physical properties and optical properties i'm coming to the chemical properties like uh, other biomolecules carbohydrates and lipids so proteins also they have chemical properties that means how they do react carrying a acidic group and a basic group okay they do involved in chemical reactions okay so first we'll discuss chemical reactions because of carboxylic group okay so when you are adding okay so that means what amino acids form salts with bases and esters with alcohols okay this carboxyl group of amino acids okay which is forming salts when you are uh, treating the amino acid with the sodium hydroxide okay so it forms corresponding salts okay coone and uh, with alcohols it forms ester linkage okay especially this you can see in case of uh, fatty acids and then okay that means lipids so decarboxylation okay so decarboxylation in the sense the name itself telling removal of carboxylic group okay removal of co2 uh, removal of co2 okay amino acids undergoing decarboxylation will produce corresponding amino acids that means from the amino acid if you are removing a carboxylic group what else left amino group so that part will be remembered as amine okay so that means when you remove carboxylic group from histidine that histidine will become histamine same way if you are removing carboxylic group from tyrosine it will become tyramine okay if you are removing carboxylic group from glutamic acid it will become uh, gaba gamma amino butyric acid okay like this and all these having a significance of histamine is an anti i mean what to say in allergic reactions okay this histamine will be produced okay and uh, in reaction with ammonia the carboxylic group of uh, dicarboxylic amino acids that means the amino acids which carrying two carboxylic groups which react with uh, ammonia to form amide that means aspartic acid is a uh, acidic amino acid that means extra carboxylic group they are carrying okay when you are adding ammonia to it it accepts it as amide and, and forms a corresponding amide aspartic okay and glutamic acid also same when this ammonia added to glutamic acid it forms glutamine and i have already explained in a previous video what is the significance of glutamine glutamine involved in the detoxification of ammonia as ammonia is toxic it should be transported in non toxic form ammonia cannot be transported in the circulation being toxic substance so this ammonia accepted by glutamic acid in the brain or other parts of the cell okay uh, other parts of the body and converted to glutamine and it easily transported in the circulation to the liver where this ammonia will be detoxified okay and now we will see the reactions involving amino group okay so amino group what i have discussed okay amino group which is behaving as a base okay and it combines with acids to form salts okay when you are treating a amino acid okay uh, amino acid with uh, acid okay this reacts with this amino group and forms the salt and uh, first to discuss is reaction with ninhydrin okay um, amino acids and amino acid two types of uh, two types of substances are there okay alpha amino acids and amino acids right so alpha amino acids when they react with ninhydrin reagent they form okay purple or pink or complex rumen's purple okay this is the thing okay amino acids when reacting with ninhydrin they form keto acid okay ammonia carbon dioxide and hydronodantin okay these are the complexes and hydronodantin again reacting with the ninhydrin which is forming rumen's purple okay and amino acids which to be discussed here color reactions i am showing the uh, table okay so what are the color reactions are there okay so amino acids can be there are 20 amino acids so i want a particular amino acid to identify so what are all the test exist to identify a particular amino acid okay amino acids can be identified by specific color reactions so by red reaction that means any amino uh, sorry any protein that means protein is nothing but amino acids a group of amino acids present in a protein okay which are linked by peptide linkage in carbohydrates we have seen what is the linkage glycosidic linkage in lipids what's the linkage we have seen that is ester linkage okay similarly here amino acid to amino acid they are held together by a peptide linkage so if there is any peptide linkage okay in a solution that means any protein present then the obviously uh, peptide linkage right 
so particular protein identified by birate reaction this is a standard for carbohydrates the standard test is molis test okay similarly for uh, proteins the standard test is biurate okay and dehydrogen reactions as we said there are two classifications type of amino acid alpha amino acid amino acid okay dehydrogen test give positive to alpha amino acid okay and if it is yellow they are amino acids okay if they are giving rumens purple they are alpha amino acids okay xanthoproteic test uh, xanthoproteic test to be discussed this is specific to aromatic amino acids we have seen the structural classification of amino acids right so based on the structure based on the functional group there are few tests okay color reaction xanthoproteic test is specific to aromatic amino acids how many are there aromatic amino acids phenylalanine is there tyrosine is there tryptophan is there okay so with that we cannot make out so only we can assume that this solution may contain a aromatic amino acids and the next is millens test okay with this phenol group will be identified so this phenol group where which amino acid uh, uh, consists tyrosine tyrosine carries a phenol group so with millens test we can identify the solution contains tyrosine okay if it is positive means the presence of tyrosine next test is hopkins cole reaction this test is specific to tryptophan okay this test is specific to tryptophan so tryptophan carries a functional group indole ring okay and this indole ring reacts with the reagent of hopkins cole uh, reaction okay Ho 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 hopkins cole uh, test okay and produces uh, positivity okay and sakaguchi because of the uh, presence of functional group guanidino amino group arginin will give positive so remember the color reaction specific to arginine is sakaguchi okay sakaguchi test is answered by arginine only and nitroprusside test is specific to sulfur containing amino acid especially cysteine uh, and sulfur test is also there paulist test is specific to histidine and uh, folin uh, folin kaiketias test which is specific to phenoic group okay all these are color reactions in identifying particular amino acid from a group of solutions okay and transamination reaction transfer of amino group from one amino acid to a keto acid okay keto acid and converting that keto acid into a new amino acid and after donating that amino group that amino acid will become keto acid so it's reverse okay one amino acid donating its amino group to a keto acid and converting that keto acid into a new amino acid after donating the amino acid that amino acid will become a keto acid okay and they are very very important these transamination reactions are very very important and they are mainly because of amino group okay these transamination reactions are uh, important in uh, synthesis of non essential amino acids okay and also uh, detoxification of ammonia okay so for all these purposes you require transamination and oxidative deamination this oxidative deamination specially takes place in the liver okay where free ammonia will be released okay otherwise in circulation free ammonia is not uh, allowable okay once ammonia in non toxic form reaches the liver there is an enzyme which is present uh, uh, for the mechanism oxidative deamination removes the free ammonia and this free ammonia involved in the urea cycle formation 